Howdy everybody, it's Chad here. We're doing a little spring clean out here in the garage. Got all my stuff. I don't know if you can see everything or not, but kind of see what we're doing. We got, I had a bunch of old, little old, these little bins full of random, basically junk. A bunch of bolts and different sizes and stuff. And we, we found some bucket to put it in, so we're going to start doing that here in a minute. Hope everybody's doing all right. We're doing good. Uh, I guess y'all seen the video I did the other day. We sawed some. So we'll probably saw a little bit more here a little bit later on. As soon as it warms up a little, it's about, I think it's 40 some degrees today. It's a little cool. It, the wind's blowing though. So it ain't, it's pretty, little chilly. But we're, we're just piddling around today but with me and Mama and Michelle and Zoe and Daisy. We was all sitting last night around the supper table. And Mama reminded me of a story. I can't remember what we was doing. I got to talking about it. Something about tetanus. I can't remember what the deal was. Anyway, the word tetanus come up. We was talking about it. Getting tetanus and all this stuff, you know, and everything. We, me and Mama, I guess, thought it at the same time, but we had a goat one time. And I think she stepped on nails, what it was. But her name was Penelope. She was a black and white, uh, I think she was a Nubin goat. But somehow she, she ended up with tetanus. And, you know, we couldn't afford to take her to the vet or nothing, so... They started going online looking up home remedies. And this has been this has been years ago. I probably wasn't I probably wasn't ten year old, I don't guess. But we uh he got online, he looked and looked. We'll see if there's one. He looked and looked for a cure for tetanus for a goat. Well, needless to say, we found this cure, or he did. So we had her down there in the barn, and she was, poor thing, she was just spraying load. I mean, her, her butt was back here, and her head was here, and it just looped plumb around. She was just like a U-shape, and she was pitiful. I mean, poor, bless her heart, we we didn't want to have to put her down, you know, because she was still, you know, she could still eat and everything pretty good. But she just sat there and, you know, wouldn't do nothing and just, just pitiful. Well, Daddy rigged up this concoction, and I can't remember what it was. I know it, I remember it had molasses in it. It was molasses and something else. I can't remember what. Uh, but anyway, we mixed it all up, and we got one of these syringes like that, and filled it full. And all way she could eat, just put that syringe in her mouth, and which you know we'd give her water and stuff. Well, somehow we we fed her all these molasses. Well, I guess nobody thought about it, but molasses will cause an animal like that to, to bloat. That poor goat, she swelled up. <laughs> she swelled up like a tick on a vampire. Bless her heart. And she, <laughs> we thought she's gonna bust. I mean, you couldn't even poke her. I mean, she was so tight. Her belly was just huge, and she's still in a knot. You know, couldn't. And at this point, we're all just like, what are we going to do? You know, it's pitiful. We don't know what we're going to do with her. Well, we fed her all these molasses. And about, I don't know, it's probably 30 minutes later. She'd just lay there. And we'd try to, you know, nurse her back as good as we could. But she'd just lay there and grunt. She'd lay there and she'd go, uh, uh. And she'd done that for probably an hour or so, I guess. But it must have worked because we got her fixed up and, and finally she got over it. But that was the weirdest thing. I guess it, it was kind of funny. I know it ain't politically correct, I guess, to say it's funny. But it was pretty funny. She had, We filled her full of molasses. And I can't remember what else it was that we done. But it, it was something in molasses that would, call, that would help with the tetanus. And I, Daddy found it online. This is before his YouTube career and everything he started. But we did. We fed her molasses out of one of these little syringes. 
And that poor thing, she'd lay there grunt like a little pig. And that, that was just so bad. But that was that was a story we come up with last night. And I figured I'd share it with everybody. But that was that was one of the many stories. But we got her we got her healed up. She she actually I'm pretty sure she is one of mama's goats. She lived here from, from then on and she never did Mom never did get rid of her or nothing. She I'm pretty sure she died here. Or the dogs might have got her, I can't remember. I remember one time the the dogs come up here one time and killed one or two of mama's goats. There was like ten or fifteen dogs, but that didn't work out too good for the dogs. But anyway. Uh but yeah. I figured I'd share that little story with you. I know it was kind of short, but short and sweet. But she did. Poor little Penelope. She was she was a fighter though. We we got her fixed back up and and I don't remember if it was that that cured her or if we had to actually call a vet in. But I'm pretty sure the molasses did help her. But we we did learn just to, it was kind of in moderation. Do not give them a whole bunch at one time because they will swell up like a tick on a vampire. And they will grunt like a little pig. So hopefully y'all liked the story. I know it was short, but it is what it is. <laughs> if I think of some more, I'll, I'll, I'll put them on here. But... Hope everybody's doing good. Uh, we are. Mom is. Tried to get her in this video, but she said no. She didn't want to mess with it. So I didn't. I didn't push it much because she's meaner than I am. But if anybody's got any comments or anything, just let me know, and we'll. Hope you can see. I got the sun right in my back there. But hopefully, I can get all this cleaned up. You can kind of see what we're doing. We got all that. I still got all that to go through. And, all that to go through, and I went and got me a new one this morning, so. Got me a new little shelf this morning to put in here. So, but anyway. Well, I hope y'all have a good Sunday. And uh, I'll try to put another YouTube video back up here in a couple days. Or I might do one after a while, I don't know. I'm kind of feeling kind of YouTube-y today. So, but anyway. Like I said, I hope everybody's doing good. We appreciate all the thoughts and everything, prayers that come our way. So, Mama, she's doing good. I think she liked the saw in there today. She did tell me that uh, one, of the guy, one of the tree guys to call him, see if he had any logs. So he might get us a few logs. and Saw a little bit more, but... Okay, well, I've said enough. It's been eight minutes, so I'm going to get off here and finish doing this, and y'all have a good day, and we'll talk at y'all later. See y'all. Bye.